Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Um, this is gonna be the video that I'm gonna show you on installing the 12 volt LED lights in the back of my truck bed, which is powered by the switch that I installed in the back also. And this is using the 20 volt DeWalt battery system with a power inverter. So I'll be showing you a little bit about that also. So I have a list of the supplies that were used um, installing these things. So the first thing would be um, a Phillips head screwdriver. I used the impact driver with low torque, some small zip ties, uh, varying sizes, the smaller, the better. And you might need a little bit larger ones for attaching the wires at the bottom of the truck. I used electrical tape. I had used double-sided alien tape and you can use 3M tape if you find that that works a little bit better. I like alien tape. I also use some black flex seal tape, which I use to cover some of the components in the back of the truck to make them a little bit more concealed. Um, you can use some uh, Wago nut connectors. The power inverter I will discuss does have its own connector nut, but I like the Wago. Some people say Wago nuts to replace. Um, helps you connect the wires to each other. Um, a pair of wire strippers. I use some black flat primer to paint the inverter black so that it, the bright yellow doesn't show in the back. Also some Velcro ties, a large roll. You can cut some pieces to wrap some of the wiring. I use a, a super long pair of needle nose pliers and that helps feed the wires through the bottom of the truck and back up through the back. Um, your DeWalt 20 volt battery, um, the inverter kit, which I'll put a link for at the bottom and that's purchased on Amazon. Um, obviously the light kit, which I didn't put on here and then a lot of patience because it's a bit tedious. Um, you're only going to do it once. So just have some patience and hopefully you can get through it. This is the product I got from Amazon. Um, there's several of them. This is specific for the wall. And what this does is this takes your 20 volt, the wall batteries, and it steps it down into 12 volts. So you can use this for any 12 volt LED lighting. Um, it comes with the wires. It comes with the uh, connector. It's kind of like a Wago. It's not the right brand, but they're snap connectors. Um, this particular one came with a power switch. So they're not needed. Normally you have the battery running, but if your lights are not on, you don't really need power, except it's my understanding that if you have um, an inverter hooked up to your battery, the inverter itself will drain some of the battery power. Um, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I figured it's better just to get a switch. You can cut the power supply and instead of just taking the battery and making it loose. So this is the setup. Um, I dry fit it in the truck already in this yellow. I have it hidden pretty well around the corner of the bed, but the yellow still does stick out. So I'm going to, I'm going to take this plastic piece here. And this is the part when I put it on that shows. So I'm going to take this and just put a little black flat paint on it. So maybe just some primer, just so it's a little bit more concealed. Show you, these are the lock nuts that came for the wire connectors um, in the kit. I like the Wego nuts. Um, this is the end line. You connect one to one. I just put two together and connected them with electrical tape. Okay, so this is the rear bed truck lights that I got. Um, they're by a company called Nylight. It's on Amazon. I will put the link to that in the description. It's got different colors. It does say on the Amazon website that it does not fit the Ranger Raptor, but um, I don't really care. These lights I saw Fla Dupin on YouTube. He's got a lot of good videos. Um, I wish I knew his first name, but he used these, hooked them up to one of the auxiliary switches. So I decided I just wanted these hooked up to a power supply external so that I can just go back and flip them on. So um, I'll describe that at a different point in this video. But for now, this is the box. Now, this is not an unboxing. I've already opened them, but I will show you what's in the package. So it does come with these clips that you can use with some self-tapping screws. Um, whether or not I'm gonna use those remains to be seen. This is your cord, which will hook up to the light system. And then these will hook up to the battery. And those I'll use the connector nuts to connect these to the DeWalt 12 volt battery supply externally. Um, I'm, how I'm going to actually fit those in at this point, um, I haven't decided. And then you get a few cables. So the way this light system works is 
this is your main feeder that comes from the power supply. So here is your on-off button. The, this is the color button, which changes the color. This is music, I mean, this is um, multi, which just changes different colors. And then the music, which I haven't decided yet, but I'm guessing this little speaker here, um, that that's the, the button that will make the light beat to music. Um, I didn't get it for that, but it's, it's a nice feature to have. So the way this works is originally I thought this was go I was going to chain all three of these together, put them at the in the front left, or I should say the rear left by the bed, but would be front in reference to where I'm standing, and wrap them all the way around the back of the bed. But it turns out that the that you can't you can only connect one of these strands to another. You cannot connect all three. So on the main power supply, it has two ports. So one of them which at this point it's in the tr it's in the back of the truck um, that'll feed the way i'm going to hook this up is this will run along the underside of the bed to the passenger side and run that set of lights and then these two sets of led strands um, again when you open the package they come sealed in these bags so this is going to run where this first strand here is hooked to the second strand. So you can connect one strand to another strand, but it's only these two strands that connect to each other. So these will wrap around the driver's side, and then the, the further piece will wrap around the back behind the rear window. That's the plan as of now, this may change, but um, that's the only way that these can be rigged up. If you look at the description, it's, it's a little bit vague, but you can kind of figure it out because it has an A, to be and then has C is separate. So it does give you a couple extension cords if you need them. Um, I probably will be using one of these to get the lights from the power supply from the left side or the driver's side of the bed underneath the door and up through the bottom to the passenger side. So this is the set. It's uh, when I bought this, it was on sale for $52. and. We're gonna see how this works. And also it does come with this remote control. So I'll see if I'm gonna really use that. I might use it if I go to a car show at night, take the back down and light it up. But um, the, my main purpose for this is to have some bed lighting in the back that's convenient with a switch and not having the power on in the back of the truck. Um, or if I go somewhere at night, I just need some, one makes look, something look creative. This is just a quick view of where I mounted the wire that goes from the passenger side power supply down through the bottom. You'll see there's a gap between your truck bed door and the actual vehicle itself. There's a, there's a nice little space in there. You drop the wire down through there, come up through the bottom. Um, the little sp uh, areas where you see the green ties, those are where I zip tied them underneath the carriage around the back uh, spare tire and back up around through the passenger side and then back up through the passenger side hole in that same little gap and then around the corner. Where I installed the power inverter along with the DeWalt battery, it's just around the corner when you open up your bed on the driver's side. In this picture here or this video, you can see that there it's the original locking nuts that came with the kit. And this is when just when I was dry fitting it to see where everything would fit. And you can also see how that bright yellow um, battery supply adapter uh, is going to really stick out. If you don't want that on your vehicle, then you can uh, spray paint it black, which I use the flat black primer, so it's more concealed. Also, the primer binds a little bit better. I have several DeWalt batteries, probably 15 or 20 of them. I have all DeWalt power tools. I also have some generic DeWalt batteries. So what I decided to do is use this generic one that's black already, and I use a piece of the black Flex Seal tape to cover over the label so when it's installed uh, you really don't see any color you don't see any labeling it's it's pretty much just flat black and i don't know how it's going to hold up outdoors if any water is going to get into the tonneau cover but this way if it does um, i ruined the generic battery instead of a good battery um, so we'll see how that goes showing the placement of the lights underneath of the truck bed around the perimeter when you stand at the bed entrance and you lower it even in the dark You'll see in the video when with the completed project, you do not see the individual lights, which is nice around the perimeter. Now around the back, the lights are, are stuck to the bottom of the holder for the tonneau cover. 
So you do see the, the individual lights a little bit, which I don't mind. I actually think it looks kind of nice. But um, this, this is um, the clip that shot from pretty much on my back looking up um, at the top of the, t at the underside of the tonneau cover around the perimeter. So you can see um, how the lights look. Now, I will say that even though the quality, I didn't mention this at the beginning, the quality of the lights, it does, you know, we'll never know until we try them out for a while. Um, even though I have a cover, we have to see how they'll hold up in the weather. But um, initially the quality looks pretty good. They look pretty tough and durable and pretty firm, but I will say the 3M backing on them are horrible. So that's why at the beginning of the video, I put that you might need some 3M tape or some, I use the alien tape. So what I did on the, the passenger side, I installed first and I cleaned the bottom really well. I put some solvent prep solvent on the underside to, to help them adhere better, but they pretty much just kept falling right off. And even if I could get them to stick, I figured that they're gonna fall off eventually. So I did use the clips for this one in a couple places to hold them up. I didn't, I, I was able to drill in using a 1 8 inch drill bit as the, as a starter hole, even though they're self-tapping screws, it is very hard to, to drill into the bottom of the metal on the truck. So I did use a few of those on here. I decided for the driver side and for the underside of the tonneau cover to clean it really well. And then I used the alien tape, which is about three quarters of an inch to an inch wide. That sticks really well. And then when you peel the red adhesive off of the back and apply the lights, they, they stuck really well. So I don't foresee them coming off. If they do, I can put a little clip underneath of it. But for now, they seem like they're they're stuck on there very well. So that's why I put in the beginning of the video that you would want to use some 3M tape. Um, again, the clips are optional. You can decide to drill in there if you want. I only had to drill in a couple spots and that's all I decided I want to do not to drill anymore. So, so far, um, they, they look like they're going to hold pretty well. So here's where I first tested out the lights. You can see the label is still on the battery and it's not very clean there yet. I haven't at this point when I was testing them out, um, didn't secure everything and tape everything down well, but you can see that they work pretty well. The LED that, that show on the bottom of the tonneau cover holder in the back, they don't look too bad and you don't see them around the perimeter. The lighting, um, is pretty good. The, the green seems to light the best in the day. I wasn't really super impressed with the white lights or when you turn it to the white setting, the blue look good, the, the green look good. Now, um, when it's, when you're in here at night, anything's going to light up pretty much enough to see what you need to see. Obviously, if you do need more lights, you can always go inside the bed and turn on the, the regular bed lighting that comes with the truck. So at this point, you can see how it looks before I got everything um, completed. Um, and then you have the power switch that goes for, that comes with the light itself that you can use that lights up red. But like I said before, if you don't use the switch that comes with the inverter, you're gonna probably drain some of your battery um, because the inverter will take some of your battery. So you can, you can have it on the battery. Let's say you were gonna use it for a little bit and then just shut it off temporarily. If you're outside doing some things, you can use the, the little button that comes with it to shut it off. And then when you're done with it permanently, you can use the switch underneath the bottom of it. This is the final clip showing what the lights look like at night in the bed of the truck. So I basically just turned it on, went over, reached around with my hand while I was filming the video and put some different settings on it. So there's multicolor, flashing, individual colors. Um, it's plenty of light. I did think it would have a little bit more brightness to it than this, but it should be fine if I need to find something in here at night. Again, if I, if it's really a question of looking for something, I can always walk to the front and turn on the bed lighting for the back. Um, there, there's some points in here where you'll see it black out for a second and then you'll see the lights flicker. What that is, is I put it on the music mode. As I mentioned in the beginning, it had the little speaker in the front of the remote or the little connector. And what that does is if you're playing music, it'll beat to the music. I don't think I'm ever going to use that, but I just wanted to show that that is a, a feature that's on there. So um, in this part of the clip where you see the light black out and then you see it come on for a second, that's kind of where I was either snapping or whistling to see if the lights come on. So again, the colors 
are pretty nice. The functions are pretty nice for $52. Um, something I can try. So um, just uh, as a reminder, I am not a professional YouTube video maker. I like my truck. I like to do things to it. I like to do things for fun. And since it's a new vehicle and a lot of us are, you know, learning things that we can do with them, I just thought I would share this video for informational purposes. Um, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, put some comments, hit like, share, anything you want to do. But again, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it.